We present SparseLeap, which is a hybrid method for empty space skipping in GPU volume rendering that is more efficient for large, highly detailed volume data than standard approaches. We target volume datasets with many segmented objects, which users can quickly switch on and off interactively during analysis. This requires that the data structure used for empty space skipping can adapt well to these changes. In ray casting without empty space skipping, the entire volume space has to be sampled, independent of whether samples contribute to the output image or not. The current state of the art for empty space skipping in large-scale volume rendering is to use an octree for subdividing space hierarchically and skipping over empty octree nodes. A problem of this approach is that finely detailed structures lead to a fine subdivision of the space around them. During ray casting, empty space therefore often has to be skipped in very small increments, which can become inefficient. We refer to this problem as a high fragmentation of space, which leads to a high depth complexity for empty space skipping. We define the depth complexity as the number of accesses per ray to the empty space skipping data structure. Sparsely produces the fragmentation of space by computing intersection positions of rays with what we call occupancy geometry. Looking at the depth complexity for empty space skipping in sparse leap shows that it is much lower than for octrees. Looking at the fragmentation of space in more detail, we can see that in octree subdivision, small non-empty nodes break up the space around them into many small empty nodes. In contrast, the occupancy geometry of sparse leap fragments space very little shown here by the few empty boxes around non-empty boxes. Next, we show the occupancy geometry in 3D, where green boxes are non-empty blocks and red boxes are empty blocks. Note that in contrast to standard approaches, a big empty box, such as the red bounding box of the entire volume, can contain many small non-empty boxes. Octree empty space skipping and sparse leap have very different properties during ray casting. Using an octree, each ray has to compute many intersections with the geometry of octree nodes. This is costly, and empty space is skipped in unnecessarily small steps. In sparse leap, we rasterize the occupancy geometry into per pixel linked lists. During rasterization, we merge consecutive intervals that have the same occupancy class. During ray casting, these lists are simply traversed linearly from front to back, allowing the ray caster to skip long segments of empty space in one step. The main target of sparse leap are finely detailed structures, such as the skeleton of this king snake. We can see that the green non-empty boxes of the occupancy geometry nicely surround the fine structures of the skeleton, which leads to efficient empty space skipping with a very low depth complexity. In contrast, the depth complexity of octree empty space skipping becomes very high for such a detailed dataset. Our major motivation for developing sparse leap are volumes of extremely large size and complexity from neuroscience. This mouse cortex volume is more than a terabyte in size and contains over 4,000 segmented objects. For analysis, it is important that users can change the set of enabled objects interactively. Sparse leap supports rapid updates of the empty space skipping data structure by simply rasterizing a different subset of the occupancy geometry. A basic problem is that for each block we still need to perform culling to determine if a block is empty or non-empty. This can be a bottleneck for very large data. We therefore introduced a special occupancy class unknown, which allows us to perform culling in a delayed or lazy fashion. Initially, the occupancy class of the entire volume is unknown. During rendering, the raycaster successively reports cull misses for unknown nodes in front-to-back fashion, which triggers the actual culling. This ensures that occluded blocks or blocks outside the view frustum will never be culled. In total, this allows for an output-sensitive system design where only visible volume blocks will be culled, and then only those blocks that have been determined to be non-empty will be paged in for actual rendering. Thank you for watching.